What's up guys, it's me Alan, and I'm back with another video today. And apologies for this video not looking as good as the last couple have. Um, unfortunately, I was recording this video last night, uploaded it to YouTube, watched the video, and as soon as I started watching, I realized, oh crap, um, there was no audio to it at all. So, took the video down, um, I tried to figure out how to fix it, I couldn't find anything to figure that out with, so I'm going to get a mic and hopefully that will fix that issue because I've never had this issue before, so I don't know. But anyway, that video is going to be what this video is going to be about, and that is in regard to Diecast Buffet's NASCAR Duralast Cup Series Season 2 and how the points would have turned out uh, under a different points format, which I came up with, and I'll explain that shortly. Diecast Buffet is another NASCAR YouTuber like myself. Well, I do a lot of different stuff for my channel, but you know what I meant. Um, he collects diecasts. He makes custom diecasts. He's done um, post-race talk videos. Don't know what you don't know what to call that, um, and so on and so forth. Awesome guy. I will have links to his channel and uh, the playlist for the Dirt Last Cup Series videos in the description below. So please drop a like and subscribe on this video and on his videos. Also turn on notifications so you don't miss another video and get him to 2,000 uh, 2, subs because he's closing in on that mark. So uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. But anyway, what you see here is the first seven races of the 14 race NASCAR Dirt Last Cup Series Season 2. Um, I've been working on this for the past couple of days with the points format. Um, now, how he does the series is well, when he started Season 2, the way it was set up was he builds all the tracks. Okay. Originally, he had it, there would be two halves. Each car gets one push per half. And by push, what I mean is he takes the car, he puts it on the track, and then with his fingers just sends it. And wherever it lands, wherever it stops, he sets it off to the side and does the next car and so on and so forth. Um, and if a car wrecks, which if it comes off the track and hits another car, um, his policy is that both cars are taken out, whether the contact is severe or not. Um, unless it's like it hits a car and the car that it hit like bumps into the one in front of it, that doesn't count, obviously. Um, by the end of the season, though, the, the two halves thing was gone, um, and it would only be one push overall. So with that out of the way, I have to keep moving the camera so my arms don't get tired. <laughs> so with that out of the way, season two was a 14 race season. So like I said, we're going to cover the first half in this video, and the next video I do on this will be the second half. The points format that I came up with is the winner gets 250 points. Second place gets 240 points, kind of like in the way NASCAR does its point system where the winner gets 40 and the second place gets 35 and so on. So in this case, first place gets 250, second place gets 240, and then it's minus five for every position thereafter. And if you wreck out, what happens is whatever total points you would have gotten from where you finished because of your DNF, you lose 15 of those points. Um, so it's pretty interesting to say the least. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the season. So race one, obviously Daytona, uh, Ryan Newman got the victory. Paul Menard finished second, Daniel Hemrick third, William Byron fourth, Joey Logano fifth. Denny Hamlin, Ty Dillon, Alex Bowman, Brad Kozlowski, and Kevin Harvick would make up the rest of the top 10. Um, only one DNF, and that went to Austin Sindrick. He's in one of the custom cars for the season. Um, there are a few customs in this series. Uh, Tyler Reddick, Ryan Truex, Austin Sindrick, all driving customs. Um, Atlanta would be the second race of the season. Kyle Larson would pick up the W. And at that point, you're probably thinking, well, what happens to him because of what happened in real life? Does that, you know, does that have any effect on him here? Yes, Kyle Larson will inevitably be suspended from the Dallas Cup Series during season two because of what happened 
um, in real life. But that's going to be later in the season, um, which is going to be unfortunate. And you will see that, um, see why in a, in a little bit. Um, Alex Bowman finished second. Austin Dillon third. Clint Boyer fourth. Ryan Newman fifth. Um, Daniel Hamrick, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Darrell Wallace Jr., and Paul Menard would make up the top, the rest of the top ten at Atlanta. David Reagan, Eric Almarola, Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Busch, and Daniel Suarez all DNF'd. And Ryan Newman would still hold the points lead coming out of Atlanta. Race number three would be Bristol. And it would be Alex Bowman picking up the W with Danny Hamrick second, Denny Hamlin third, Kyle Larson fourth, Kurt Busch fifth, Austin Dillon sixth, William Byron seventh, Daniel Suarez eighth, Eric Omarola ninth, and Brad Keselowski in tenth. With Tyler Reddick, Ryan Priest, Martin Truex Jr., Chase Elliott, Darrell Wallace Jr., David Reagan, and Ryan Newman all uh, getting taken out. And that's one thing you're going to see is that Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Blaney, bigger names that you would think would do better, they struggled. They have struggled in the first half of the season. Um, Truex Jr. Would, would inevitably pick up two victories, one at uh, the next race at uh, Las Vegas and the other being at Chicagoland. But he would also, coming out of Chicagoland, would also have three DNFs on the season. Um... Jimmy Johnson just he hasn't had very many good points days thus far plus has a DNF um, Chase Elliott like, like I said three DNFs Kyle Busch has two Ryan Blaney has one and they just struggled this year in fact actually it was um, Auto Club the fifth race of the season which was a wreck fest to say the least because 15 cars got taken out in this race. Ryan Priest, Ross Chastain, um, Chastain being another custom, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Daniel Suarez, Eric Almarola, Daniel Hemrick, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Jimmy Johnson, and Kyle Larson all getting knocked out at Auto Club. Kyle Busch, after his push in the first half, he was like first or second when he got taken out. You know, that's just the unpredictability and the unscriptedness of this series is that anything can happen. Well, Kyle Larson, or excuse me, Kyle Busch really needed a big points day there, you know, to help him out. And that basically just got stolen from him in a way, uh, which you hate to see that. Um, kind of, you know, what, what sucks is that, you know, in real life, he hasn't been doing so well this year either. Like, he's got no wins, no playoff points. You know, it sucks. But, anyway. Looking back at Vegas, um, we only see one DNF there, which would be Brad Kislowski. Um, as you can see, Blaney also had a, had a mediocre run. Denny Hamlin, also a mediocre run. Um, Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman held the points lead for pretty much the majority of the first half outside of... The first two races of the season, which Ryan Newman had the lead, um, Bowman would take over the points lead in week after the third race and has held it pretty much ever since. Um, Kozlowski's DNF being the only DNF at Las Vegas hurt him. He he was um, ninth in points going into Vegas and left Vegas 17th, um, and it's been hard for him to recover since. Like, he's had some good finishes, but moving back up in the points has been a bit hard for him um, because of that. Um, so, yeah. And then, sixth race of the season, Richmond, Kyle Larson got another W. So, three drivers have two wins in the first half. Uh, Bowman's the only driver that doesn't um, have a second win thus far. But, again, he's also in the points lead because... Consistency has been a big thing for him. Um, and you can see that in the point standings coming out of Chicagoland. Again, Bowman's in the points lead. He's got William Byron, his teammate, in second. Um, for the... Se uh, uh, sorry. Once again, for the second week in a row that those two are sitting 1-2 points-wise. Um, actually, third week in a row. 
it's just crazy to see that that a guy like Bowman with only one win and Byron with no wins have been consistent enough to stay in the top two for three races in a row and Bowman in the top spot since the third race through seven out of the 14 so far and then not only that but you got guys like Daniel Hamrick Austin Dillon well flip them around uh, Menard in the top five Ty Dillon ninth in points coming out of Chicagoland Danica Patrick just outside or 13th but has been as high as in the top 10 in points wise this season it's crazy and then again Kyle Larson two wins but two DNFs he comes out of Chicago land 15th in points and Martin Truex Jr. two wins with three DNFs sits 22nd in points so it just goes to show you that with this points format it really spices things up you know it's not just it's not just the dnfs that hurt you it's mediocre runs that can hurt you because mad benedetto he's tied for 27th in points he's had not a single dnf this season in fact if we're not counting dominic Konoreski, who another custom um who joined at chicagoland mad benedetto is the lowest driver in points that does not have a DNF this season to this point. So again, it's not just the DNFs that will hurt you. It's mediocre runs that will hurt you and consistency that will help you. Um, and Bowman and Byron have shown that consistency has been a big deal for them. Um, I, I think Bowman's only finished outside of the top 10 one race thus far and that was an 11th at Vegas um actually no twice the other being a 13th at Richmond so again consistency Bowman has not finished outside of the top 15 and has not DNF'd all year through the first seven races of season two so again, it just goes to show you that consistency is key and it's going to help you win a championship in this series. So, with all of that, it'll be interesting to see how the points will turn out for the second half. Like I said, I'm going to make a video on that. And like I said earlier, drop a like and subscribe on this video. Go over to Die Cast Buffet's channel. Go subscribe to him. Turn on your post notifications for both his channel and mine. And please get him to 2,000 subscribers. That would be awesome to see. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.